Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm just doing a little bit more testing with these uh, Spectrum satellite receivers connected to the NAS. And uh, I've got uh, a genuine JR DSMX satellite here, and I've tried the um, genuine Spectrum DSMX satellite. They both behave exactly the same. I think they're identical hardware, to be honest. But uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you with my DX8 what the various different modes do. We'll go through Spectrum uh, satellite bind setting 3, 5, 7 and 9 and you'll just see how it actually does bind in slightly different modes in each case. So what I'll do first is we'll just um, set up the CLI. So I'll just connect, go into the CLI, just down the bottom here. We're going to do 3 first. So we hit 3, we save. Okay, that's uh, rebooting. Disconnect. Now what I'm going to do is just remove power and I'm going to reconnect power and you'll see the receiver is now in bind mode. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is it should bind in DSM2 1024 mode. So let's just see what it does. Okay, so DSM2 1024 mode, so that's what we expected. Okay, now looking at the receiver here, how you can confirm that it's in DSM2 mode is that it will actually have brownout detection. So if I remove the power and reconnect, you're going to get that flashing light. Okay, that's uh, just brownout detection. It's not going back into bind mode. The bind flash is a lot faster. So yeah, no matter how many times you remove power and reconnect, it's going to be flashing. The only way you can get rid of that brownout detection is to recycle the transmitter, turn that off, we'll remove power, we'll turn on the transmitter again, and we'll connect power. And you'll see on first power up of the transmitter and the receiver, the brownout detection flashing has gone, okay? And just looking at the um, transmitter here, you'll see it's confirmed that it's in DSM2 mode, okay? So once again, removing power, Reconnecting will give us the brownout detection flashing. Okay, so that's that first step. What I'll do now is um, I'll try mode 5. Back into the CLI. Paste. And this time we'll set 5 as the variable. Save. It's rebooting. Disconnect. Okay, we're going to recycle the power here and that's going to put it into bind mode. Okay, so it's flashing. See the rapid flash this time. So that's what uh, indicates a bind. Now, what we're going to do when we bind, it's now going to bind in DSM2 mode with 2048 resolution. Let's just see that happen. There it is, DSM2, 2048 resolution. Okay, DSM2, and as you can see, it's working, and we're still going to have that brownout detection. See the slower flashing. Okay, so that's how you confirm it's actually in DSM2 mode. All right, the next step is we'll go into the actual DSMX modes, which is uh, value seven and nine. And uh, what DSMX is, it's a frequency hopping, um, protocol which is better it has faster reconnect times but you do actually lose the brownout detection which I'll indicate that once we get it bound appropriately so the first one I'm going to do is 7 and save disconnect we'll go into recycle the power so it's now in bind mode and we're going to bind again. And this should go into uh, DSMX 22 millisecond mode. There it is, DSMX 22 milliseconds. Now, not all uh, Spectrum satellites will achieve this, and I think some of the, uh, the lemon brands or the orange brands are DSM2 only, but as I said, this is a genuine JR DSMX version, so we're now bound in DSMX mode, and 
How you can confirm that with the actual uh, satellite is you don't have the brownout detection. So what you'll see is when I pull the power out and reconnect, you get a solid light. So there's none of that flashing. DSMX is a better protocol. It's frequency hopping, but you don't get the brownout detection. You just get the steady light there every time. Okay, last step is to flash with, um, or to bind with uh, 9, which is going to give us uh, DSMX 11 millisecond mode. 9, save, rebooting, disconnect. Okay, recycle the power again. So it's rapid flashing in bind mode and we'll do the bind now. Uh, okay, that's interesting. It's gone to DSM 2102422 milliseconds. I'm not sure why it's done that. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I put the wrong mode. Let me try that again. That's nine, a save. Disconnect. Recycle power. And now we'll bind again. Yeah, there it is, DSMX. 11 milliseconds. I'm not sure uh, what happened. I might have put the wrong code in or there might have been a slight hiccup, but with uh, with nine, that's the value you should get. So we're now in DSMX mode and uh, show you that there's no brownout detection. The light becomes steady when you recycle the power. So that's definitely in DSMX mode. So anyway, that just shows you the four different modes. I'm not sure what happened on that uh, second last one, but uh, I might have typed in the wrong value. I'll have a look at the video again. If not, it might have just been a slight anomaly, but uh, as you can see, it all works as advertised. Thanks for watching.